Right, I want us to go on with our Euclidean geometry. In particular, I want us to look at the grade 12 theorems, both the proportionality theorem as well as the similarity theorem. I want us to start with the proportionality theorem. It is important with Lama theorem scores of Y show Lama Gamma. Go by that is also examinable. For example, this theorem says a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. Now we need to understand what that means. When you've got a line drawn parallel to one, this is a triangle with has three sides. Once you draw one line parallel to one side of a triangle, it would divide the other two sides proportionally. In other words, this theorem says uh, AD, AD over DB is the same as AE over EC. AE over EC. This is what this theorem is saying, and we need to prove that. So this becomes our required to prove. So this is what we want to prove. We want to prove, is it true that if one line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, it will divide the other two sides proportionally. But remember that the diagram might not always be in this form. Let's make an example. If I've got a triangle like this one, let me make another example again, so that we'll see exactly what I mean. If this is A, this is B, this is C, this is also A, B, and C. Remember, <clears throat> in this particular case, I've just sketched a line parallel to this one side. Let's try and make a line which will be parallel to any other of those two other sides. Maybe if you make it parallel to this one. Now this one is parallel to this one. Let's call this one DE. We've got the proportionality theorem here. Because we've got a line drawn parallel to this one, it will divide these other two sides proportionally. So this will simply mean CD over DA is equal to CE over EB. That's what this theorem will say if it is drawn parallel to this side. Right, if it's now drawn parallel to this other side, let's call this one DE. If this one is parallel to this one, it will divide these other two sides proportionally. That will simply mean BD over DA will be equal to BE over EC. Right, that's what we call proportionality theorem. That is option one that I've been showing you. But there's also another option that we can use in proving this theorem. It can also simply mean that AB over AD is equal to AC over AE. Let's do that again. Proportionality theorem, if one line is drawn parallel to this side, it will divide the other two sides proportionally. What does that mean? It simply means AB over AD is the same as AC over AE. That's option two. Remember option one, we simply said AD over DB is the same as AE over EC. Right, that's what we call the proportionality theorem. Let me take off these other ones. Now, if you remember in the previous lessons, I'm a theorem told any equivalent pay when you. Now, you cannot understand this theorem, for example, if I use this theorem, you've got to know this one, and this one comes from this theorem. If this is the center of a circle, what did this theorem say? This is what we call a center theorem. Angle subtended by this arc at the center is twice as the angle subtended that one. If this one is 2x, so that one will be x, because this one is two times bigger than that one. Now, it is important for me to understand this theorem. I should have done this one first. Now, what is this one saying? Remember, I've got an angle which is here at the center, which is formed by this one. What is this angle which is at the center here? It is 180 degrees. That is why the angle at the circumference becomes 90 degrees, because this one is two times bigger than that one. So I cannot understand this theorem if I don't understand that one. The same thing applies to these other theorems. There's a, there's a theorem that you need to understand before we do the proportionality theorem. If you have something like this, a Italian theorem triangles with equal altitudes. 
have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. For me to understand this theorem better, I should have started on this one, understanding this theorem. The theorem is that triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. What do you mean? Let's put a diagram so that it, that will make sense. If I've got a triangle like this one, mm, let's call this, oh, let me just cut it here. So this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. I want us to look at these two triangles here. In particular, this triangle and that triangle. In other words, we're focusing here at triangle A, B, C, as well as triangle A, C, D. Those are the two triangles that we are looking at. It's in the theorem here too. It's a triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. It's in Leda. The two triangles must have equal altitudes. Altitude is a perpendicular height. It's a perpendicular height. Now, in other, in other words, that these two triangles, for this theorem to work, both of them, they must have the same perpendicular height. Let's create that perpendicular height in this triangle. Let's say this is the perpendicular height, where they form 90 degrees. Perpendicular, where the two lines meet, they will form 90 degrees. Now, let's refer to this line, perpendicular height as H. If you look at this triangle, the highest distance in this triangle is coming from there to here, in triangle ABC. It's the same thing that happens in triangle ACD. The highest distance is from there to here. So both these triangles have got the same altitude. Both those triangles have got the same altitude, perpendicular height. And we know that when you talk of area, you must know the area of a triangle. It's in area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is half base times perpendicular height. In, if you do have a perpendicular height, with 90 degrees. If you don't have a perpendicular height, what do we use? We use trigonometry, which is triangle formula. You must know how to find the, the area of a triangle which is not 90 degrees when you don't have the perpendicular height. Right, this theorem says triangles with equal altitudes. We've got two triangles that got equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. In other words, this theorem is saying area of triangle ABC, ABC over triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas, the ratio of their areas, area over area. So area of triangle ABC over area of triangle ACD, ACD is equal to. Let's read the theorem again to get, to get, to get more insight. Triangles with equal altitudes, yes, these two triangles have got, have got the same altitude, have the ratio of their areas. This is the ratio of their areas, area over area, that's the ratio of their areas. Equal to, equals to, the ratio of their bases. Ah, what is the base? The floor becomes my base. So the triangle, the base becomes my base. What is the triangle? What is the base of this triangle? Of course, it is BC. What is the base of this other triangle? It is CD. So the theorem says triangle with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equals to the ratio of their bases. So it simply means that this, the area of this over area of this will be equal to BC over CD over CD. This is what this theorem is saying. Remember, a theorem can be proved with a simple correct. In other words, it's, whenever I see integer gamma triangles out two on the altitude there, you to, same perpendicular height, area of this over area of that will be equal to this space over this space. You learn the show the theorem. See, Peter Foot, the area la over the area la is equal to the base over the base. That is what the theorem is saying. I want us to prove that. Remember that no matter how into it, see, Miss Aganja, it doesn't matter how Sassy Miss Aganja learned to it. Let us prove it first. Let us prove it first before we, 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 we change it around. And we've got two sides here. See no left-hand side, and it's no, no right-hand side. You take the complicated side. 
the left hand side looks complicated to me. Therefore, I will take this side and prove it. Let's do this together. We're saying we're taking the left hand side. Now, the left hand side, we're saying we're taking the left hand side. We're saying we're taking after writing it down, then we continue from there. So, let's do this thing. Area of triangle ABC. Ubani area of triangle ABC. ABC. It will be half base times perpendicular height. Ubani perpendicular height in this case, H way to we altitude H. Let's write it down. The area of triangle ABC, it will be half base. Ubani base it BC. Ubani perpendicular height here in triangle there, H. This is what this is saying. Remember, so no prove it yon kinetic le hana le hand. The area la over area la is just equal to this base over this base. Ibu gei ne loni tini so. But when we prove it, we'll see good lendi tini so. Right. This is over. Let's over the area of triangle A C D. A C and D. A C D. So remember that we must mention that we are going to prove this in triangles A B C and Triangle ACD. A, C, D. These are the two triangles that we are using to prove this theorem. Denominator, 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 it's area of triangle ACD. See it again, ACD. It's a triangle area la, half base times perpendicular height. It is half base. What is our ba the base of this triangle? It is CD. It is CD times. What is the perpendicular height in this particular case? We labeled it as H, so it is over H. Right, let's work it out from there. If we take this a step further, speak of cantal and I will apply. Half can go with this half. H can go with that H. What are we left with? We're left with BC over CD, which is exactly what we wanted to prove. Therefore, it is true that triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. Between theorem here two, triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. Now, the truth remains. I'm still Mr. Kanyele and the face the camera and or the face the camera and or facing that side. I'm still Mr. Kanyele. The same thing to this theorem. Even if I can take this diagram and put it in this form, uh, let's put it in this form, and put it in this form, and have something like this, and have another diagram there. This is A, this is B. This is C, this is D, and have an altitude. These two triangles must have equal altitude. It doesn't matter how, where, which give me second one. I will know that area la over area la is equal to that base over that base. If I'm starting with this triangle, so the area la over area la is equal to this base over that base. Mangalena la, area la over area la is equal to that base over that base. That is what the theorem is saying. Triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of bases. If I'm starting from that side, this area over this area is this base over this base. If I'm starting from this side, this area over that area is equal to this base over that base. So this theorem is very important for me to understand the proportionality theorem. That's why I'm starting on this theorem for us so that it will be easier when we do the proportionality theorem. Right. <clears throat> Let's move on to the second theorem. The proportionality theorem. Remember, in the exams, you won't be asked to prove this theorem, but to apply it. Yes, the changes we examination, but you won't be asked to prove it. This one, yes, the changes you apply it, and you are also required to prove it. So it's, it, it, it is examinable in proof yellow theorem. Hence, when we do the proof of this theorem, you must know that it can come out in your examination as well. Right, let's do this thing. I see understanding, see understanding the theorem here, it's in it. A line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. Hence, we refer to it as a proportionality theorem. Fraction, something over something. It's equal to AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. That's option one. Option number two will say AB over AD is the same as AC over AE. That's another option which we'll use when we do a similar the second option. So it's important that we should also take note of the other option. Right, let's, let's do this thing. <clears throat> We're required to prove that AD over DB is called AE over EC. Before we prove this theorem, there are certain things that I want us to take note of. Uh, 
Let's look at these two lines. These are parallel lines. If I have a triangle like this one, let's look at this triangle that I've just sketched here. So this is A, B, C. Right. This distance from there to here, it's the altitude perpendicular distance, which will be 90 degrees. Let me just call it H. What will be the area of triangle ABC? In this case, the area of triangle ABC, area of triangle ABC would be equal to half base times perpendicular half. Wait, the area of this triangle would be half BC, it will be half BC times H, which is our perpendicular height. Right. <clears throat> Remember, these two lines are parallel. A line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle. Now, the area of this small onion triangle will be half base, half BC, times perpendicular height. In this particular case, which is H. If I sketch another diagram there, another triangle there, I want them to have something. Let me just look at this triangle. Do you see this triangle? That is written in dotted lines. This triangle, this small triangle, this side. A, B, C. Let me call it D. So this will be triangle D, B, C. So when you are looking for the, the area of triangle D, B, C, let's write it down. Area of triangle D, B, C. It will be equal to the area of triangle D, B, C. It is equal to half base, B, C. It is half base times perpendicular height. They've got the same height because of my parallel lines. What is it that you notice? about the area of this triangle and the area of that triangle. The area of triangle ABC, it's half BC times H of this triangle. The area of this triangle would DBC, it's also half BC times H. What do you know about these areas? They are the same. Why are they the same? Because the any triangle, they are the same because they are between the same parallel lines and both of them, they share the same base. So what is this saying to us? Umasama triangles amabili that are between the parallel lines and they share the same base. Ama areas are corner. Ayo shalilinga na ngasongus card. Remember, in mathematics, zamuk sends the lima in one way or the other. They can change this. Bafunas ngaiboni by Mr. Ranjil. By Mr. Ranjil, and by it. By it. By it. This is another triangle, this is another triangle. You must be able to see that. Since, that. since if this line is parallel to this one, therefore the area and the triangle will be the same as the area and the triangle because they are between the same parallel lines and they'll be sharing the same base. It is, no matter what I mean, the facts should not change the area over area. I mean, area and the area, and the area is the same because they share the same base and they're between the same parallel lines. Right, the next step that I would want us to do is to do a formal proof of this theorem. Move on to that. Thank you.